So I watched a video from a therapist who was talking about how to stop the thoughts. How to stop the thoughts you don't want to be happening. And this person was saying how well, in fact, you can't. It's impossible. You absolutely can't control the thoughts that come into your head. And the more you try to stop thinking about something, the more you actually make it worse because you're focusing on the thinking. And the advice was to instead do nothing. Ignore them. Don't give them meaning. Notice them without attaching importance to them. And it is true, you can't control the thoughts with more attention focused on thinking. And you can't control the thoughts with that sense of doership in your thinking because that's perpetuation of more thought. Thoughts just happen. You don't do them, right? They appear and disappear in awareness. Instead of believing you are the sense of self in your thinking, that that's actually you in your thinking, instead of that, be knowingly the aware spaciousness within which these thoughts appear and disappear, and don't follow them. Stay knowingly aware that you're aware as these thoughts arise and fall. However, even this message is incomplete. There are the absolute and relative levels to this. To simply say, you can't stop the thoughts, so don't even try, on a human level may sound a little discouraging if you've been experiencing slews of negative thoughts for years and it's turned into torture. It's like, what? Oh great, I can't stop them, I've just got to sit there and watch them forever. You see, there is the relative human level to this too. Yes, you can't step in and stop the thoughts, but what you can do is release the stuck energies, anxieties and traumas that are supporting the thoughts. You can bring the nervous system into a state of equilibrium which will decrease the frequency and intensity of the thoughts, especially the negative ones. You see, yes, human thought in general is pretty damn negative, repetitive, anxious and fearful. But the intensity of the thoughts that you probably want to get rid of is on behalf of an overactivated fight flight freeze response in the body, elevated anxiety and tension in the body. As we abide as our deeper self, we can hold these energies in the loving, embracing light of awareness. But trust me, you can sit there for what seems like forever as awareness, observing thoughts, and that's great. And that will help them feel less disturbing. But until you also free up the energy that's supporting them, they will still have some momentum. Peace is the nature of our being, of what is prior to the mind saying no to the experience. And there will always be an instantly accessible layer of peace underneath even the intense thoughts and pains, as the space or stillness that underlies everything. It's powerful to see what part of you is, is this substratum which underlies even the most intense activity of consciousness. But even after a non-dual awakening, that peace to be increasingly felt on the level of the body and the mind too, is something that happens in time, as an expression of our innate capacity to heal and gradually reflect the peace of aware spaciousness into the human experience. And part of this is learning to bring the nervous system toward equilibrium, to bring down the fear response in the body. I'll go into more detail on this when I work with people, but it's about experiencing the felt sense of the body, feeling the body from the inside, learning to release stuck density and tension, and learning how to shift the nervous system to more of a calm tone, which means the intensity of the negative thoughts will calm with it. I have multiple videos on this, so just search the channel if you want to go deeper. There are multiple ways to reduce the anxiety and scattered attention that work on the level of the body, from breathing, somatic techniques, and yes, even actually thinking about certain things to bring emotions to the surface where they can be released in the loving light of awareness. The absolutist message, there's no one here, there's nothing to do, as Rupert Spira would say, is half the path. It's a holistic message if it doesn't exclude the relative human level. And that's about growth, healing, and shedding layers 
old beliefs, expansion and creation. If you'd like to inquire about my non-duality informed coaching program to overcome anxiety, fear, negative thoughts, addictive behaviours or poor self-image, go to speaktoalex.com. Peace.